Today, the European Union is a, a very important partner uh, for all those countries that want a world that is more just and uh, fairer. And uh, that's why I've received a lot of encouragement coming from them for this kind of efforts we are making, namely to shape globalization with positive values of international cooperation. The European Union is co-leading. I like to say that we don't pretend to be the leaders with arrogance, but we believe that the European Union, with its 27 member states, with 500 million people, being the biggest donor of development aid, being the leader also in the fight against climate change, can co-lead, can do things not imposing, but proposing to all our partners in the world. And this, I think, today is uh, recognized. We need a cooperative approach. This is one of the lessons of this financial crisis. We are all in the same boat. That is why the European Union, by its culture of cooperation, transnational cooperation among countries, sometimes countries that were very, uh, let's say, strong enemies in the past, but that were able to create a system of cooperation and even integration, the European Union can propose some of those solutions. I think it's important to have a perspective where the rise of ones does not mean the decline of others, to have this kind of cooperative approach. And that is a contribution, a specific contribution the European Union can make to the globalization process in the beginning of the 21st century.